Ion quiz number 11 only has two new ions on it, so it shouldn't be too terribly difficult, but it centers around ions containing both nitrogen and hydrogen. So the key to understanding these is to uh, know a little bit about NH3. NH3 is not an ion. It's not an ion at all. It is ammonia. Ammonia, the compound found in household cleaners, windows cleaners, things like that. You probably would recognize the smell of ammonia. Uh, NH3. Now, NH3 is not an ion, but and therefore it's not on your ion sheet, but it is helpful if you know what ammonia is, NH3, uh, to remember these ions. Why? <coughs> because uh, a couple of things. First thing to know is that the prefix am generally relates to nitrogen. You might have heard of an amino acid. Uh, an amino acid has nitrogen in it. Uh, notice that these, ammonium and amide, both have nitrogen in them and have the am prefix, as does ammonia. So uh, associate the prefix am with nitrogen. And uh, the other thing, so nitrogen, ammonia, is neutral. NH3 is neutral. But if you add a hydrogen to it, or remove a hydrogen from it, it will change into a positive or negative ion, and therefore its charge will change and its ending will change. So here we have ammonia. Notice that if we add an H to it, we have, instead of NH3, we have NH4, and it becomes a positive charge because we've added a hydrogen to it. Whereas if we take ammonia and remove an, a hydrogen from it, then it becomes a negative charge because we've removed a positive. And therefore the names change the way you would expect. Positive ammonia gets that IUM ending so common with positive ions like lithium, sodium, magnesium, beryllium, potassium, calcium. Uh, so we have a positive ion by adding an H to ammonia. NH4 plus 1, and we have a negative ion by removing an H, and then it gets the more common IDE ending for the negatives. So NH4 plus 1, ammonium, NH2 minus 1, amide, and NH3 will not be on the ion sheet because that is not an ion, it is a neutral compound.